What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're out here today on beautiful Lake Gunnersville and we are going to talk fishing spinnerbaits. But I want to talk through the ins and outs of fishing a spinnerbait. So Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Company just came out with the new cycle bait. This one right here is red. That is a killer bait right there in the springtime. This one right here is a willow cycle bait with a bluegill look to it. That's a great one this time of year. Uh, this one was in the Mystery Tackle Box this week. This is a dark June bug cycle bait. Cool looking little bait right there. And then some shad colors. You got this Colorado Blade white and yellow cycle bait. I got a Castaic Chartreuse and White spinner bait, an Atlas spinner bait, a Guggen Squad Zinger, kind of the sexy shad color, blue, yellow, white spinner bait. And then I have a signature spinner bait too. It's this little finesse spinner bait. I like throwing it in pre spawn to spawn and slow rolling it during the shad spawn. Uh, this is a little mouse color that I have, but it's got a turtle back blade. So, those are a bunch of spinner baits and there's a ton more. Uh, where do you start? So like I said, in the springtime, colder water, try picking up a red one or a shad color. You can't go wrong with shad. Sunny days use brighter colors. I already got one rigged on here. But this one right here is a one ounce spinner bait. There's a few fish out deep on this hump that I've found graphing around and they're chasing shad. So a big old spinner bait. We're gonna throw it down 15 to 20 feet deep, slow roll it along this point, see if we can catch one. We're gonna go do that and then hopefully we catch one if not we're gonna come up here shallow early june time frame when the water's in the early 70s low 70s uh the shad start spawning and the bass will just push them up on on grass or points or, or bluff walls or rock and they've been pushing them up on this bank too so we're gonna go try that and then the bluegill are spawning right now too a lot of stuff's going on so we're gonna try the bluegill one after that let's make it happen let's go I'm gonna start out with a one ounce spinner bait down deep. There's a lot of fish up shallow, there's a lot of fish down deep, but I'm gonna start out here deep and then we'll move shallow, see how these fish react. I know there's a bunch down there on this point. So, we're gonna throw the spinner bait down at them. They're feeding on shed, these blades just look like bait fish. You can see I've caught a few on this thing. Let's go. pretty deep over here so I'm just gonna cast it out let it sink all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna slow roll it big long point that comes off this hump and we're casting down it paralleling it there's fish sitting on top of it We got one guys, out here deep, spot lock, 17 foot, 17 foot of water, throwing a spinner bait. They're just on this point, floating down it. That's a good one. Oh, he's tiny, just a little guy. Feisty though, throwing that deep spinner bait. There you go, a little 14 incher. Oh, throw him back, see please. Oh wow. Took me about 10 casts to catch one. Even though I saw them down there, they're just not one to hit it today, but we're going to go try it shallow now. I just wanted to show you guys, you can catch them out deep on a spinner bait. Such a versatile bait. We got a storm rolling in. Let's go catch one before that gets here. The reason I didn't throw a trailer on this is because I'm fishing so deep out there, it's got to be able to sink, and that trailer is going to slow it down. So next up, we are going to try this Guggen Squad Zinger right there what's cool about this spinner bait is it's got this little green line keeper on the eye so your your line doesn't slide down and uh, bend out your spinner bait like when you set the hook on a fish sometimes your line will slide down and it'll bend out but they prevented that with this little green tie so we're gonna go up shallow here throw it around for a minute see if we can catch this one tie it on with a little polymer knot 
There we go. I always want to wet the line. All right. And then you can throw a little little white swim bait on something like this, but I'm going to go without a swim bait just because this is a little tiny spinner bait and they should munch it. We got a little exo swim here. We'll try putting on our bluegill spinner bait next. Fishing a spinner bait in the wind is always good, but be careful of your rat nest. Happens to all of us. In the wind, you can just turn that side dial up a couple. Just like that. There's one. Yep. Oh, he's in that grass. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, he got lighter. He's in all that grass, I think. Yep. There we go. Oh, another one, guys. Another one munching it. All right. There we go. A little step up from that one out there deep. Whoo, it's starting to rain on us. Look at that. Pulling through the grass. See, you, buddy. Woo! Starting to rain. We gotta put the rain gear on here in a minute. All right. It's raining, but we're gonna try and catch another one on this bluegill spinner bait. They munch them, guys. Throw that down there. We're gonna take out this cycle bait, bluegill, just like that. There's fish here. I think we can catch another one on this bait. They're munching on bluegill, they're munching on shad. Both good options. And we're gonna throw this Exo Swim little green pumpkin pearl looking bait on here. Paddle tail, it's gonna kick. We're up here shallow. Nice little bait keeper on this cycle bait. And there we go. Just like that, we're gonna throw this. Wind is blowing, pushing bait fish and everything up on this little point. Got a hard bottom with some grass mixed in, some shell. These fish are here. A little grass on there. Not raining too much yet. Just sprinkling. Yep, got a little grass on there, that eel grass. There should be one up here. Right on the grass edge. Little clumps. Oh, we loaded up. We got this one here. Another one on the spinner bait. Yes. Oh, he's jumping. Oh. Oh, he's in that grass. Woo. Let's go. Spot lock. Another one. All right, guys. Launched it. Launched it. Look at that. Right in the grass. That thing is a chunk now. What a chunk. That's what I'm talking about. Nice two and a half, three pounder. That fish is big. Look at that. Came out of the grass. I got grass all over this cycle bait and launched it. All right, see you, buddy. That's awesome. That is awesome. We caught it. We caught three fish on three different spinner baits today. The storm rolled in. Fish are feeding. Fish are feeding. And we moved to a few different places uh, trying to catch them. I didn't have any luck. Whoo! All right. There you have it, guys. Rain coming in. We're going to get off the lake here. Because I see some lightning over there in the distance. It's getting dark. So we don't want to be on here any longer. But man, that was fun. They bite a spinnerbait in the wind. Windy days. Chuck it around. That commotion. 
Uh, it just makes it look like bait fish fleeing, dying, and the bass munch them. So we caught them on the bluegill color cycle bait. We caught them on the Guggen Squad Sexy Shed uh, Zinger, I think it's called. And we caught them on the one ounce, and that was a Strike King uh, deep spinner bait out on a point. So caught them pretty good. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Fishman Norby. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you guys next time.